Hello everyone, Crystal Vision here and welcome to a new Spyro Reignited Trilogy video. We are two weeks away from the game and yes, there is more footage. This time we got footage from uh, many, many people including Canadian Guy A, Crystal Blazier, uh, the guys at Achievement Hunter. They all got to actually visit the Toys for Bob headquarters. Very, very lucky. This is one of the, the few times I wish I uh, lived you know, in North America or anywhere close to America because I would have loved to have been there. Um, but congrats to those guys too be able to actually be there like it's just incredible they actually got to go to the studio I'll let this guy talk then when I came in to look around for clues one of them routed dinosaurs went and locked me in now they're out there causing all sorts of trouble and there's not a thing I can do about it yeah, it's so amazing that they got to do that. I'm glad they had like sort of an you know an open door policy, if you will. Um, it actually reminds me back in the day, Ando, understandably, my good friend, he actually uh, got to go back when they were working on Skylanders Imaginators. And I remember he told me like, oh yeah, look out for the thing with Crash. And then of course you know Crash got announced at E3 and and all that madness. So yeah, it was uh, yeah good on those guys. Glad that the Spyro community, I guess, is sort of uh, you know you know being open to you know being able to actually you know go behind the scenes, but. Let's talk about let's talk about Dino Mines here. Um, I am a fan of this actually. I think that this looks quite good. I think that they've actually got the style pretty accurate on what the you know the original level was. Um, I dig the skybox. I dig those Spyro One skybox vibes in a way. Of course, you know having all of the all of the rocks and mountains sort of you know in the background is of course something that is you know really really good with reignited. That, that you know now that we don't just have to use skyboxes, you know we can actually have you know adaptive sort of 3D environments in the background. I think that that is fantastic. Um, you know that's something that where you know the technology is improved upon. You know, see, look there. You see the yeah, sort of the, the clouds as well in the background. Um, the enemies here, the 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 lizard, dragon, dino. I guess that yeah, dino. The dinosaurs, but they you know, kind of skinnier than the original ones. Um, cacti. Cactus looks pretty good. Cac not cactuses. Cacti. I overall really like the um, and I've actually now that I've actually seen it, uh, you know, reignited actually in in the flesh. You know sort of you know physically actually being able to play it i will say i really like the contrast you know in the levels and, and the designs there are some times you know in earlier footage where it felt like the contrast wasn't as high but in this one it actually is uh you know quite good i think that there's some definite improvements you know since we we've seen the um you know the, the earlier footage and interestingly enough that jeremy at achievement hunter did talk about how you know he talked to because yeah, i believe he yeah he interviewed he interviewed some guys at toys with bob and what's interesting here's a new orb animation by the way still it's still kind of like a hatchet like sort of like flips off rather than like sort of feels like it cracks off but they you know kind of have the residue so that's cool um but yeah he talks about how like the developers actually do you know browse reddit and stuff like that and, and we kind of knew this but yeah they're, they're very very aware of uh you know criticism and praise that the game has gotten have uh, changed things you know based on that not they didn't give specific examples but yeah they did talk about the the community which i know some people think is sort of like a pr sort of thing like everyone everyone listens to feedback but i, I genuinely do think that they did much like vicarious visions did with crash Manica and Saint trilogy but anyway um swimming underwater looking at the swimming uh he also did bring up in this interview that there is a bit of inertia when it comes to swimming so i feel like they have made swimming a slightly more realistic which I guess translates to being a little bit more, you know, kind of, I mean, that's to be honest, kind of annoying. Um, I guess that's sort of more realistic. Uh, I, I would prefer it to be the exact same, but as I have talked about before, okay, the Skybox looks really, really cool there. Very, very nice. Um, before, you know, as I've said before, the Spyro 1 to, th or Spyro 2 and 3, what's it called, like, swimming mechanic, is the greatest swimming mechanic in video game history. It's, it's, or it is very, at the very least, top three. It is truly an unbelievable swimming mechanic. So even getting it like 90% as good, which I reckon this looks to be about, that's good. That puts it up in the uh, the upper echelon of, uh, of swimming mechanics. Uh, another thing that's in the upper echelon of uh, mechanics is the fact that the load screen, I don't know if this is just because they're playing individual level demos, but uh, have a look at the load screen coming up here. Pretty darn good, I tell you. Yeah, but seriously, I'm really dig. As I said, really digging, digging the background of the skybox, and obviously the sort of the the, the more uh, stray and outback uh, sort of grass has kind of gone yellow. It's it's getting old. It's looking like uh, looking like the Adelaide Hills in, in, the, in the peak of summer, without, without any rain. Again, okay, don't have to elaborate. You guys kind of get it. It's 
pretty, pretty darn obvious here. Thank you, Wyatt. Kiki, doth thou love me? Are thou riding? Um, not a fan of, not really a fan of, not really a fan of Drake. Guys, if you had to pick Drake, Denzel Curry, Lil Peep, um, and Su or Suicide Boys, who would you pick? Who would you pick? That'd be a tough pick for me. It definitely wouldn't be Drake, though. I'll tell you that much. Very catchy song, though. The, was it the, was it called again? I forgot what it's called. And there we go. Oh, cool. Hello, Dan. So that's actually Dan Schneider. Dan, the, no, not, no, not Dan Schneider. Not Dan Schneider. I'm keeping that in. I'm keeping that, that kerfuffle in. Not Dan Schneider. Um, Dan Johnson. I don't believe they've got the Dan Johnson posters up anymore. I think that, yeah, from what it looks like, I'll try and have a look again, you know, but I guess that is a, uh, that is a mechanic that was, uh, you know, a feature, uh, you know, feature, whatever it was. It was sort of a, a nod to Dan Schneider, uh, who, you know, has since passed away over a decade ago now. Star Wars. That's a shame, Mr. Holiday. Okay, let's go through here. Okay, so looking at this, and by the way, this is actually me looking at it for the first time because uh, I, I did, uh, yeah, I also did look at some of the, what was it? I only actually looked at the, the, what's it called, the, the Agent 9 stuff that a Canadian guy uploaded, but um, yeah, what is, is uh, cool about this is it actually looks like it's gonna be a bit easier for us. Uh, it feels slightly slower. I don't know. Now, oh damn, we're gonna have to get the skill point to get all the seahorses in that one. That is gonna be, that's a challenge, just like it is in the original. But yeah, this is pretty cool overall. Feels slightly slower, but I, I wonder how it's gonna go with the controls, you know, being in widescreen and stuff like that. And he, oh, looks like he got hit. That was a mighty fine swimming, young dragon. Young dragon. It's Elliot. Thank you, Elliot. Thank you, Sid. Okay, and look at, oh yeah, I didn't talk about that. Look at the seamless transition there. Bloody marvelous, as my Uncle Vino would say. Okay, let's go down here. Jeez, it's electrified. Much like, uh, Agent 9. Very nice, Agent 9, thank you. Thank you for your service. If you just calm down for a second and stop all that whooping and hollering, I could tell you what's going on. The Bailey gang are holed up in them buildings over there. You're gonna have to go in there and flush them out. I'll tell you, he ain't no holler back girl. Well, good luck to you. Okay, so this is Agent 9's challenge. Alright, I'm looking at it now, looking at it now. It's uh it's much like the original, look the way the camera tilts as well. Um and I'm really, really keen to play Agent 9 now because I heard from, from what I heard from people that were there that were, you know, at Toys of Bob and have, uh, you know, been part of this sort of press tour. Uh, I've heard some very good things about Agent 9. So that's good. And looking at the gameplay here, this is obviously, you know, this is just a basic shooter. Everyone can do this. But uh, yeah, actually, is the secret dino going to pop up? I didn't pay attention to that. That's cool. I like the, the walls there, though. Very much like the original. Very, very much like the original. Always good to see. Ah, uh, look, there you go. There's a wanted sign. Is that, is that, is that Sheila? Is that Mrs. Uh, Haya Sheila? I think it is. Oh, okay. So they've replaced Dan Johnson with all of the other characters. So that's, that's Sheila and there's Bentley over there as well. Cool. A lot of Mexican influence here. There, there's, are they poncho hats? Yeah. The only Mexican stuff I know about really is, is Lucha, Lucha Libre Wrestling. That's that's literally it, I'm, I'm a disgrace. I need to be more cultured. Okay, I didn't see the dino. If I did, I'm an idiot. If I missed it, wait, is it coming up? Okay, there is it, there it is, there it is. That's the secret dino, I think, yep. I'm pretty sure. Smashing the windows. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was, okay, I don't know. 
One other thing, and I'm going to show off the, the new music after because the person that's playing this, the gaming trend uh, video, is actually using the original music, which of course is beautiful. But the new music is pretty good too as well. I think that, uh, yeah, they've actually done a good job with that. I'm going to show you that sort of soloed for a bit after we complete this, and then I'm going to wrap the video up with a bit of gameplay after this challenge. Why the Bailey gang was trying so hard to steal this egg? That's not like them at all. I reckon someone must have put them up to it. My law. My implicative law. Okay, so this wraps up this section here. Uh, I wanna, uh, yeah, he's, he's gonna run around for it. Oh, look at the, look at the game. Oh man, look at the way he runs. It, it seems better. It almost looks like a second person because it's like the back of him is kind of like, oh man. Okay, it, it seems smoother to me, looking at this now. Looking at this now, it seems smoother to me. I don't know, what, what are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking? Because I'm thinking good things. Okay, jumping, jumping, it just seems faster. Yeah, it makes me wonder how Bentley's gonna be. We haven't seen Bentley yet. And Sergeant Burt, man, this is this is good, this is good signs, guys. These are good signs. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I genuinely, I genuinely think this is this is actually quite good. Now, I really wish that someone would actually pause and like look at these things properly. Like, no one wants to be bloody inquisitive, it seems. Anyway, here is uh, Sergio. Sergio. There we go. All right, guys. So that is it. Six out of six. Good job, buddy. Good job with the level completed. So anyway, so here's the loading screen kind of thing. The adventure continues as it does. We all know, we all know that it does. And I think actually I want to show off as well the outro thing. Uh, there's like an outro, like a level exit type thing as well. So yeah, this, uh, yeah, this goes for a bit, but then I'm going to, I'm going to be quiet now and let you listen to the first minute or so of the music. And I am back. All right, so because I want to, I want to look at more of Agent Nine because man, I just, I dig it. I dig it. It just something about, something about it feels right. I think that that you know, this, this is, this is what happens. You know, some stuff ends up being better. Um, of course, Agent Nine is probably one of the most uh, talked about things about Spyro Three that some people, you know, com complain about. People do, people do complain about about. Uh, about Agent 9. I mean, I always, to be honest, like, I always liked, I never really cared that Agent 9 was kind of clunky in the original game. Like, to me, that never really bothered me. But looking at it like this, I just think that it just, yeah, it just, it's, it's, I guess it's a little bit more, I don't know how to, whether modern's the right word, but it's like, the way that, yeah, he moves around and kind of strafes, and yeah, it's just, it's just good. Um, it's Agent 9's figure, Sort of his, his uh, you know, the fact he's got the Rhinox thing on his, uh, on his suit, on his, yeah, whatever sort of suit. He kind of looks a bit more spacey as well, um, you know, like he's more from, you know, from, from space. Um, yeah, he, I, I can take that, I'll leave that, I don't mind either way. But, I, you know, I love Agent 9's model in both of the games. I think that overall, you know, I think that he's a cool character. I wish that we got, I guess we got, I kind of wish we got more of Agent 9. You know, I feel like it could he could have added something to Enter the Dragonfly or even... Aspire Hero's Tale because I guess it was like a shooter character. It's their way of kind of getting shooters in. So if they wanted to be like more quote-unquote adult, you know, they could have always done that. So 
yeah by the way here's the, the music as well so it's good to good to be showing that off uh, again uh, yeah so uh, I like the fact that we can pick that's a really underrated, you know, part of this game that I haven't, you know, talked about for a while. Of course, that hasn't really been massively relevant, but I think it's 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 understated that you know that we can, if we don't like this this new music, we can actually listen to it, you know, the you know, in its original form and probably in a pretty high quality. They've probably got the actual rips of it. You know, they've probably got the they've probably actually got the original files down at Sony or something like that. So if we actually got a rip, this this might be one of the better quality rips of the music, the the original, of course. Hopefully they do release the soundtrack though, the updated soundtrack on Spotify. Might as well get, might as well get those, those premiums, might as well make that money, you know? Alright, let's exit here. Back as Spyro again. This was part of a, a longer video, again, links to both videos in the description. I really do appreciate everyone that uploaded this, uh, you know, and Crystal Blazier and, uh, and Canadian Guy A and, and everyone else that got, got their hands on the footage. Once again, as this video ends up being like... 15, 16, 17 minutes. Um, it's just, it's just so great to see that uh, you know. That I, I think, I think the extra time really does end up helping because you know the fact that um, the fact that you know that it, you know, if if the game ended up not get you know giving being released by now, I seriously worry that it could have been a completely buggy mess. Now, for example, for example, looking at the skateboarding, as Angus was talking about, you know, the skateboarding, you know, that was from like a couple months ago now, almost a month or two ago, you know, the skateboarding had some sort of clunky clunkiness in some of the physics, which would now obviously have time to be fixed. Stuff, little things like that. Um, things like I'm sure Agent 9 was probably, you know, polished as well. Um, so, you know, plenty of stuff, you know, would have got that polished to, you know, be a better game. And I really do hope that, you know, when this game comes out look at that 700 gems well done 100 percent well done my dude look at that didn't actually take didn't actually take him that long it's like i think this video was like 90 minutes yeah good on him good on him but yeah um, I'm really excited. I, I this is probably one of the last bits of reignited content that we get for a, you know until the game is out, and I think that that's perfectly fine. Look at that seamless transition; it's brilliant. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. The game's now yeah. I know that some of you probably aren't even going to watch this video at all because of the fact that you know it's it's why should you? Why should you? And look, that's Midnight Mountain. Look at it. Looks kind of icy. And we're getting ready to do the transition as well. The smooth transition, in the words of uh, 2010 Ray William Johnson. And there we go, returning to Midnight Mountain. So it looks reminds me more of, of Enter the Dragonfly than it does of the original games. I would prefer it if it sort of did the more panning thing and the, you know, the gems collected, but yeah. Anyway, just want to quickly point out, look, while this transitions through, these are the three, the game select section. This is courtesy of Canadian Guy A. Uh, the boy has uh, provided these, uh, this is in his video. So go check out his video for some, you know, some full gameplay and stuff like that as well. And then also him and, and Crystal have also uh, provided these images as well. This is in promotional Dino Mines pictures, which all look very nice. And then this is Fireworks Factory again. So this is a really nice, this is a really nice shot of Fireworks Factory, as is this. Yeah, Fireworks Factory, cannot wait to play it. I actually hope we don't get to see it before we get to play it. We can just go straight into it. Um, and now these were also released by a Canadian guy. These are some more dragon uh, art, which is just gorgeous. I mean, that is fantastic. I absolutely dig this. Again, uh, it seems it, uh, according to the Jeremy, the Achievement Hunter interview, I think it was implied that there may be concept art rewards for completing the skill points. Um, I don't know if that's confirmed outright, but that's what it sounded like uh, from, according to them. So that's very interesting. I think that that's a great reward, but I also want an art book because look at this. This should be a gigantic poster. I would buy this for a lot of money. I actually want to show you the Spyro poster I've got up in my room now and in the study. I'm looking at it right now. Um, actually, now I'm looking back at this because look at this. Look at this high-res picture of a lot of the enemies and friends of Spyro the Dragon. Man, it is just fantastic. I love this. Interesting choice of art style. They're not really like truly Spyro-esque, but that's what's so great about it. Like all these art styles, all these different art styles we have, you know, concept arts like in, in like traditional style, you know, hand painted stuff, 3D stuff. It's just amazing. I absolutely love it. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this nearly 20 minute video. If you liked it, if you watched the whole thing, you got up to this point, 
and I'm telling you to uh, like the video, then you go ahead and do that. And if you didn't, well, do the opposite, but I'll be extremely disappointed. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Once again, cannot wait for the game to be coming out. It's so close now. I will see you very soon. Goodbye.